Oh no. It's the demons. Open it. Of these demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers. Perfectly stealthy in my bright suit. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm almost never have three bars of focus. It's almost like I use them up way too often. To be fair, though, I don't think there's a lot of situations where I wouldn't want to either immediately use a bar to heal or immediately use a bar to not... to knock an enemy out. Need to get through these demons quick before okay. Lee gets a hold of the anti serum The, um... Quick kill there definitely seemed helpful. Otherwise, that could have been a little bad. I don't remember if I... I, I gotta do it. It's fun. That didn't knock him... That's bullshit. What do you mean that didn't kill him? What's the point? I want to pick these guys off stealthily. I think I kind of mentioned it before how, like, obviously Batman is scary getting all stealth out, but, like, Spider Man, you're like, would be kind of worse because it's, you know, he's crawling at you, you're getting. Hit with his goo. Could web down that tower. Yeah, but why would I? Who who will that help? I'm pretty mad that that thing didn't kill the dude. The demons chewed through Sable. Please on the warpath. That went really bad. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's all fine. Uh, I thought I was like stuck on the perch, but ended up falling off and then panic hit a button and punched nothing. I'm surprised that we dealt with that st technically stealthily. The most Barely stealthily person I've ever am. Ever am. God damn. Try to do this quietly. Try to do this quietly, they say. No. Stop it, Pete. Spider Man, leave now. My men will handle Who gave you this number? Sable? Lee wiped out the agents stationed here. They're not handling anything. You have been warned, superhero. Who gave her this number? They still seem to like not really care about... How are you in danger? Oh, because that guy's there. Well, I'm glad to be able to... No, he's in danger now. Damn it. I don't know why I did that. Can I not stealth him? Ready night. I think that's everyone. 
Nailed it. Sable made good no one threat, ever knew. But these guys aren't looking to team up. I'm tired of you harassing our agents, Spider-Man. This ends tonight. You guys think I took out your men? You gotta be kidding me. Definitely the better way to deal with those guys is always to web them up. He tried to rocket me. He got me. To be fair, I've done so many battle arenas at this point. Surely I wouldn't screw this up. No. Oh. Guess that box got in my way. I wish Sable would cut me some slack. We should be on the same team. I'm on him. He's on me. I really like bullying one guy. It's real Demons fun. Sable are down. Time to follow Lee inside. Yeah, just go through the front door. That seems good. Casual, brisk walk. Why are you so heavy? You could see glowing happening on the other side. You harass my men, destroy my equipment, and cost my client millions. Give me one good reason I should not kill you right now. Listen, I don't like you, you don't like me. But Lee has your client inside this building right now, and he's gonna kill him if we don't do something. We could fight each other, or we could fight Lee, but not both. I think Spider-Man can fight both. Does this mean we're good? You will help me secure Norman. After that, I make no promises. Works for me. Lee's out of control. Oh. You secure Osborne. I will talk to them. Oh. Oh. Friends. Okay. Okay, Lee. No more running. This ends tonight. I mean, I would hope it would end tonight. Got a whole sickness issue happening. I have to find a way to reach the Martin Lee I know. The man who built Feast. I don't think that's gonna happen, Pete. Oh. Oh, I came in here wrong. I'm dead. Spider-Man was never heard from again. I Okay, Lee. No more running. This ends tonight. I thought I could just jump into the hole, but it was like one of those I have to find a way to reach the Martin Lee cool I know. holes the man that you do feast. from this angle and not where I was. No way to go but down. This is wild looking. I doubt there's anything special in here. Secret computer. Oh, yep, climb on the wall, Pete. I can just make things float. That's wild. Yahoo! I'm back, Spider-Man. This is between me and Osborne. I'm going into the void zone. I know about the accident. I know what happened to your parents. The accident? You sound as clinical as Osborne. My parents died because of me. Because of what Osborne did to me. Like it still was an accident. I don't think Osborne. You're more than your past. Don't let it control you. I tried so hard to make my parents proud, to honor their legacy. I don't think he meant for you to explode and kill your parents. But the truth. Like it's still awful. Them, Osborne must see justice. 
I won't let you do this, Martin. Lee's pain, his anger, it's fueling his power. Moments earlier. That's really weird. What happened? Did I get teleported away from... Lee? Like... He was holding us before, right? This is the only sample. No! No, Martin! Look, I told you, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I was trying to help. You don't help people. You use them. This won't bring your parents back. What? Oh, I thought it would. Why do you insist on trying to save this? Piece of scum. I'm trying to save you, Martin. Don't let revenge win. Fight it. Uh, I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't think that was gonna be much of an inspirational speech to stop him. Guys, it's like a real fight, or is it gonna be the same kind of dodge fest? Osriel must be punished. His Ow. cancer has infected this city for too long. Gotcha. Osborne deserves true justice. He won't see it unless you stop now. I'll never stop. Oh, that combo just tuckers you out. Whoa, who? He can teleport. Uh, maybe he just eventually gets targeted out. Yeah, that does nothing. This isn't you. This is exactly who I am. Well, kind of surprised at how much I'm actually capable of hitting him. Okay, I dodged way too soon, it seems like. Is it just after a good dodge? Ow, that was painful. I'm dying again. Osborne's crimes will be on your head. Oh god, that move. Smart. Ah, in the air! Gotcha, punk! Fight it, Martin! You can walk away! No! Osborne must suffer! Oh! Now he's really a demon. Bit extreme. Oh, he's got little gremlins too. I was kind of enjoying the one-on-one -on -one fight. You can beat the demon, beat the demon. I, I am the demon. The demon. Great. Oh, thought I could get a little spicy in there. What is that? Are you shooting a laser? Uh, 
Whoa. This is a big deep. Oh, I see. I should have jumped that. Your demon makes you weaker, Martin. You and Osborne will ship this. We'll all be over soon. I sure hope so. Oh. Oh, ow. Okay, now you guys are harder. Good thing I webbed you. Ah, the laser. My will is stronger than yours. Ow! Okay, that was a full. Uh, he's almost down. He's almost down. Okay. No, it said he was almost down. Okay, that time. Oh God, there's so many gremlins. But he's down for real this time. Finally, come guardian has been defeated. Osborne needs to pay. I know. But this is the wrong way, Martin. Who could it be? Lino didn't get out, did he? Who did we forget about? Uh-oh. Useless. Look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? I don't, I don't think he's feeling so good right now. not worry about him right now he needs a hospital no no hospital feast he needs something to eat To your head doctor. There's no doctors here. Well, who's running this place? Me, mostly. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, right. whatever you have to sterile. 
You can thank me by not dying. And she seems to care an awful lot right now, doesn't she? Oh my god. doesn't have time for rest. Well, he like already had broken ribs before. <laughs> they didn't even stay by him to make sure he didn't get like into a critical condition again. Oh Jesus! They say she could go at any moment. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti-serum. <laughs> I don't know if I can beat him. Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. I, Go get him, Tiger. Oh god, it's the spider. A wacky looking spider. Gotta gotta keep reminding you about that. Oh never mind, it's just gonna go directly where it needs to go. Alright. No. No, that's not it. Maybe it's this one. No. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, I like the look like he knows. Like, oh, that has to be one of those Spider-Man spiders. No other way. MJ's right. I built the neural interface. That means I can destroy it. There must be something at the lab I can use. It just seems weird to like present it in the situation of like Peter can do this, but not Spider Man. Like, Spider Man's supposed to be smart too. It's not like a extreme altered ego kind of alter ego. Yeah, it's, it's not like an extreme one of those. Like, oh, you have to be rich. Uh, Bruce Wayne to deal with this task instead of Batman. But, I get the sentiment. But yeah, um... If there's one thing I liked... Well, one thing. Again, love Spider-Verse. Spider what? Man, I gotta change this number. I must leave New York. Recent events... Give me pause. Your rescue of Osborne, despite his hatred, it affected me. What? I must return home. Reflect on this life I choose. Dang! I think I'm actually gonna miss you and your death troopers. Unfortunately, my agents will stay. Though I question our work, they do not. And Osborne continues to pay. I am sorry. So close to being good news. Indeed. I will miss you and your bizarre witticism, Spider-Man. Until we meet again. What a strange, violent lady. What, like, a barely actually involved lady. I guess that's why she's in the new DLC coming soon to a theater near you. This Silver Lining. What's the situation in the meatpacking district? But she kind of seemed to just exist. We'll Anyways, I was going to say, um, love Spider-Verse in general, but one thing that I liked was when, uh, Miles got bit in that movie. They kind of make it, like, a big deal when they show, like, all the venom going into him and all the, like, cell changing, but then he just swats it away like it's just a normal-ass spider. So it's silly to see uh, Miles in this being like, oh, I, I hope that's not a dangerous spider. 
Warning! This is your last chance to upgrade gear and abilities before the end of the story. Oh, okay. I don't... Besides trying to get more tokens, I don't think there's really much else for me to do, so I guess we'll go in there. Oh, now I'm beat up again. That wasn't there last time. You did the impossible, Doc. But now I'm going to get auto arms. With a little creation of my own. Uh, well, yeah, there's the whole spider suit right there. Where did that one come from? You, like, just walked in and you already had, like, blueprints for the super spider suit. This, this makes me think of, um, Raimi Spider-Man when Peter's thinking about how he wants to buy a car. And there's just a JPEG of the car that shows up in front of his face, so you know what he wants to buy is the car. And they also show MJ, just so you're reminded that he's buying the cars, so MJ would be impressed. I decided to put the lights in to make it look very cool. How much time did it take to develop this suit? And is it just generally that it's armored, so he's more protected for the big brawl? And once again, we have live footage of Mayor Osborn being held captive on the roof of Osborn Tower. <laughs> Want me to beg? Not gonna happen! <laughs> the world will know the truth before they mop you off the pavement. Oh! Oh! Tell them what you did! I... never... Oh! Everything you have is built on lies! Lies! Oh! You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is. I've been developing you Ligma. You were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, you could never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. Kind of based on Norman to call Otto out. Otto is being kind of a baby about it. Okay, I'm leaving. Godspeed, sp <laughs> smirk. Ah, oh, he is a scumbag. I was wrong. Can you imagine if he said Godspeed, Spider-Man? Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. And it worked well with Martin. You're fighting the wrong man. But have it your way. Oh. Time, please. Okay, maybe I should stop trying to throw things. Ow! Stop it! He's been webbed! Oh my gadget power is to get more gadgets. You've already done enough to ruin Osborne! No! He always bounces back! He has oh. to lose everything! Ow. Went a little overboard on that one. I don't know, how well does shock work? I see you have a new suit! It won't help! I know your weaknesses! 
Being shocked by web seems like a weakness. The whole ground is lava. I probably use webs and gadgets. Oh, probably should be doing that. I think since there's like a thousand things being thrown at me. Kind of thought the floor would eventually stop doing that, and it did. It took longer than I thought it would. You guys will help. Bam! Ow! People are dying. Do you think this will do anything? I, I doubt. Looks like it doesn't. Ow. Okay, build up that focus as I'm dying. Ow. Throwing stuff awfully quick. God damn. My reaction time is slow. Compared to what you've been doing so far, because it's been painful. It's kind of cool to have a reason to um, swing around for the fight. If only I had made myself extra arms. No more webs. Can I resupply still? Oh, your armor kind of sucked, Arthur. Pete. Ah, oh, he didn't know. You knew? I tried to warn you, Peter. But you didn't listen. You knew? I won't let you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me! Oh, he's mad now. Uh, I think, like, as soon as Otto didn't want Spider Man to be killed at the raft, that kind of indicated that he knew. It makes a lot more sense that he just knew and played it off like he did with the uh, making the suit, because that's a that would have been a little silly. Alright, this is a super cinematic fight. Ah! You should be on my side! All war! Ah! Kind of a shame that it seems to be cycling through the same animations, because otherwise it was pretty cool. Please think of the man you were! That man is gone. You can't save me, Peter. Then I guess you'll have to save yourself! You were my hero! You meant so much to me! How did I end up, like, over there? I hate that you're making me do this! 
Can I lose in this fight? Because I don't technically have a health bar. You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> I couldn't agree more! I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me. Just like all the others. Turn. Turn? I've worshipped you. Your mind. Your conscience. Wanting to help others. The way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty. A responsibility. To use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it. We have to do what's best for those beneath us. Whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms. I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others.
I'll give you a few minutes. gonna be okay ma'am i've got the cure right here take off your mask i want to see my nephew got everyone knew you knew i've known for a while i never wanted you to worry i did and i am so proud of you and Ben would be too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. God. It's a real tough scene. Look at that Circle Brand laptop. So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh. Uh, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. 
No, I think it would probably be better for Peter to crash at a 15-year-old's house. I don't know. How old is Miles in this? Oh, man. Credits just zoomed in quick. Oh, that was a strong ending. That that was uh, pretty good. I... Initially, I was kind of upset that, like, Martin Lee was kind of put in the back burner at the end. Like, obviously, the build-up to Otto was pretty good. I just feel... I don't know, the Sinister Six... The fights were fun with them. It just felt like they were kind of tacked on just to, like, extend a little bit more. But yeah, that uh, decision at the end with Aunt May was pretty strong, like, well acted and all that. I, like... I'm trying to think of, like, what I want to say about the game overall. I would say the side quests were not great. Uh, the Tombstone one was fine. And it was more so to, like, create the challenges, but just having Taskmaster helped a lot. It's weird. Like, I complained about the Sinister Six just kind of being shoehorned in. But, like, side quests that had, like, more interesting, like, villains or characters, I think would have helped the game a lot instead of just go hunt some pigeons at the park. Hunting pigeons as a general collectible was fine. That That's not what I had the problem with. It's just some of those. Uh, the, like, side quest chain of just there's a couple students from the Halloween party that are still infected with the negative virus was kind of whatever. Um... I guess, what would I want? Like, I, I don't think it was that bad, the Sinister Six being there. Maybe, like, a couple more missions with them separate. The combo, like, finishers for them was fun, especially when you can get them to hit each other and they kind of had dialogue with that. Um, I know it wasn't, like, <sighs> Mr. Negative's just really weird. Because it's, it's not the original Sinister Six. I don't remember who the original are, and I don't think it generally matters. I think there's so many different types of Sinister Sixes that it's fine to, like, have a few missing. I know, like, Mysterio and Craven were part of the uh, Sinister Six before. Um... Was the Goblin one? I think the Goblin might have been part of a different one. That, it's a shame that Mysterio wasn't in the game, because he probably would have made for a better use of the, like, dream sequence that Scorpion ended up doing. Well, like, if there could have been, like, maybe a mission involving Vulture... That could have been neat, because we kind of had, like... Electro just chilling, doing something weird with generators. We had the bit with Miles where he was running away from Rhino, which was pretty good. And then we had um, the Scorpion Dream sequence, which was all right. It wasn't great or anything, but it was kind of neat. Kind of like, the thing that stuck with that too, though, is it was kind of like just doubled up with the Mr. Negative Dream sequence kind of thing. Like, it was basically the same concept, so it kind of meant a little less, I guess. Obviously, since... I'm not oh. an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. I'm getting too nervous. Hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here, Are they going to talk about right. the birds and the bees and the spiders? Hey, so Pete? Yeah. I uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? The birds and the bees? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like physically. Oh. <laughs> Get into it, Pete. Oh, uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no, for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you. I show you. Oh, he's pulling his pants down. It's pretty weird, right? <laughs> like, like I said, every uh, man goes through this at some point in their life. Um, the Miles and MJ missions weren't 
as bad as I was led to believe. I do think the first couple of MJ ones weren't great, and then it was silly to have the Miles one where he goes to the Sable checkpoint. It just was kind of unnecessary. I, I don't know. Once you got to, like, the Central Station and the Miles running from Rhino one, and even going into Osborne's uh, penthouse, those ones were nice. Um... It just, I don't know. It, I definitely wouldn't want to replay them. That's the bigger problem, right? I don't think there's ever going to be a skip button on a new game plus. Thankfully, those uh, science mini games have a skip button attached to them. Because, yeah, those aren't... They're fine in small doses. But I wasn't happy any time they showed up. And I know part of my problem was that I... Uh, tried to do the ones that were in the lab all kind of in one go. They were like, they were kind of fine, but again, not. Like, I just think generally the change of pace missions were a little off sometimes. I think, um, I don't know if that MJ mission where she went to, uh, check that open house thing, the, the first MJ mission, basically. If it didn't have the like introduction to stealth if maybe you didn't do too much stealth with like tombstone because that both of those were very on rails and even like i feel like the tools they give you by the end with mj are still kind of whatever although it was kind of funner to go through osborne's uh penthouse loosey goosey almost getting caught multiple times i do like one thing i would say and I guess it's not a big deal because the DLC exists now. It's a shame to have, like, the Black Cat uh, collectibles and to not really have much going on with that. Because then you just get to her base, you get kind of a little, like, oh, this is what actually ended up happening, and then you get a suit. I guess you could argue it's kind of similar to, like, the Riddler trophies in Batman. But I feel like the way that he go to in that is a bit better, and I just I feel like there should have been a bit better payoff for base game Black Cat. But she's gonna be in the DLC, which we are gonna go straight to those uh, expansion DLCs. We'll skip maybe Miles Morales game for a little bit, take a bit of a breather from that. But I'll definitely play the uh, what is it Heist Turf War Silver Lining. I'll play through all those since they're kind of part of this. Um, I'm assuming that last suit we got for the Doc Ock fight is the one that I'm missing from the suit catalog. Uh, in a similar vein to Black Cat, Sable seemed kind of... there, barely. Like, it was kind of neat, I guess, because it was a state change for the city, which is something I usually enjoy when, like, the open-world city gets kind of, you know really made different and also you know all of the crime happening because of the raft escapees and all that was fun but she just kind of what did she really do anytime she showed up she beat spider-man's ass and that was degrading um and she was there with her guys at the penthouse but i i feel like there really wasn't much going for her. And then she just says, I'm leaving, bye now. In the, like, last minute, like, she didn't want to help with the last bit of stuff. She had to think things through. No, that's stupid. That was awful. Like, that shouldn't have even been there that she, like, left. Which is also going to be really silly because she shows up in Silver Lining. I don't know if she shows up in anything else DLC related, but, like, she leaves to find herself and then comes back presumably to just be a hard ass again. Like, that, that whole, like, final conversation with her, I feel like, didn't really need to happen. Especially if her men weren't gonna back out. Like, we didn't... I don't know. That that was... That's weird. I didn't really think of it in the moment there. But it's weird that she would just say, I need to go think things through while there's still the Devil's Virus and also Doc Ock. Like... The, the, the danger with the Devil's Breath was also that it could spread, right? Could it? I, I don't know if it was, like, something they could have 
technically spread. It definitely was uh, throughout most of the city, so probably. I don't think it was... They, they did show that, like, from one rat, it goes to, like, 40 or something on that PowerPoint. Um... Yeah, those side missions weren't great. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, any of them. I didn't like Screwball, but, like, again, that was more interesting than some of those other side missions were. Also, it's weird that, like, Kingpin didn't really come up after the Raft thing. He was at Raft, right? I guess you could say maybe he didn't escape or wasn't let out. But not nothing else really came from that. We only really got to talk to Kingpin, like, once after we dealt with all of his construction zones. It, it's a really good game. I, I liked it a lot. I did. I, um, don't really... I know I've played older Spider-Man games. Not, like, that much older. Like, I think I played Spider-Man 2 a little bit at, like, a friend's house. But I don't, I can't say I have any, um, real frame of reference of, like, how well it plays compared to those. I've heard that some Spider-Man games have a lot more web control and, like, it felt good to swing. But it also felt like there wasn't that much to really do with it. I know, um, I could have been a bit slicker and done better in combat as well. Combat was flashy enough. I, I complained a little bit, and I do think it was kind of weird. Like, you had that strong moment of fighting Auk on the side of the building. But it basically was just looping a couple of animations, which is a real shame. Because dealing with long tentacle arms could look very interesting. And if you're going to have it basically be, like, pre-baked visuals. Because there wasn't really much to that fight. Dodge, punch, dodge, punch. There, I mean, the first part of the fight, obviously was more of a challenge to it but I feel like there should have been a couple more animations to that to make it a little stronger especially because you had a preset amount of like dialogue that had to play out while you beat him but like the Dr. Ox stuff was great gosh darn shame about Aunt May Miles was pretty good I do like MJ in this obviously I had my problems with her being mad at the midway point, but that got dealt with. She was fine. Uh, the gadgets are kind of whatever. Like, some of them are good, but I feel like... Like, what did I really end up doing was, like, three of them. And even then, I... Like, electrifying an enemy, I guess, is technically stronger than webbing up an enemy. But it's basically the same thing. You stun an enemy so you can throw them, or so they could just be out of combat for a bit. The bomb was good because it webbed up a bunch of enemies that you can then throw or have not in combat. Obviously, the web shooter was great. Um, I really couldn't tell what the, like, drone buddies did. I'm sure they helped. I never really used the gravity thing because that was kind of awkward to have them just floating there. I could have, I guess, jumped up to start attacking, but... It, it all basically just made the enemies incapacitate it for a minute. I, the like boom, I forgot what it was called, the boom burst web that knocked enemies back in the walls could easily help. Tripwire was kind of fun, especially when I could use it the way I wanted to, but oftentimes the uh, line indicator didn't track with the enemy, so I ruined my stealth because I wasn't very bad at stealth. Um, I kind of wish there was a better incentive to stealthing the bases. Like, I guess you don't have to do the first encounter if you stealth all those enemies. But when you have to still do a battle encounter, it does kind of feel unnecessary. But I do enjoy stealthing as Spider-Man. It is pretty fun. Yeah, I just, I don't know. The thing is, I guess, with Martin Lee, I kind of wish he was still the primary antagonist, just because I do think it's interesting when they throw in different Spider-Man villains like Mr. Negative or The Spot. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the, um... I love the, like, 
grade A villains that everyone knows. And again, they did a great job with Dr. Ock, I feel like. But I, uh, seeing different ones is neat. And it is a shame that he just, like, I feel like you might as well have just had Mr. Negative go away after the subway fight. So I feel like that was a bit stronger than him summoning his demon stand. And then you could have just thrown in one of the other guys. I don't know. Myster like I said, Mysterio could have probably worked with the, uh, the, uh, hallucination thing. I don't, I kind of looked a little bit in the Mysterio. Was he actually just a special effects guy or was that just from the MCU? So I see people mention that he's just a special effects guy and it is actually illusions. I kind of always assumed he actually just had magic powers, but if he can do a lot of crazy stuff with illusions, good for him, I suppose. I don't know how that really works in the comics. And I, I, I understand that Kraven's going to be in Spider-Man 2, so exciting stuff there. Um, oh yeah, the research stations were kind of whatever as well. It was kind of neat just to have some kind of force to connect us to uh, Harry Osborn. Especially once we get to that whole reveal about him being sick with the goblin virus. I don't, I don't think that's exactly what it is. But obviously that could set up goblin virus stuff happening. And then... I'm interested to see what they do with Miles in his game and maybe in the DLC. Because, uh, you know, two Spider-Mans is pretty crazy. Although it was kind of crazy to do all that setup just for the end point. I do... Oh, I could speed the credits! Listen, I don't like skipping the credits, but if I can speed them, we're gonna speed them. I feel bad, like, skipping credits, even though this is basically the same thing. Like, I'm not getting any of these names. So I do appreciate everyone that worked on the game. But... Those are long credits. And when they don't have visuals, they get real boring real quick and make me ramble about things I already talked about. Marvel games... I probably should just skip them, huh? I should probably just stop. Listen, I, Vuck did great. Michael, Joseph Harford, Vivek. Love these guys. Phil Tran. Alright, where's the, like, production babies? Or did I miss that? I also wasn't really paying attention while I was rambling. And better yet, if they had, like, a uh, dog credits. QA. It's nice of them to put a bunch of names on the QA one instead of just the company. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, I can't zoom back up? POW! Stanley's POW Entertainment. Also, I like the... I like the song that played at the beginning of the game, but it kind of... I feel like had a different feel to what the rest of the game was. Uh, what was it? It was, I, it was alive by someone. Where, did, I, did I skip that credit? I probably skipped it. Aw, oh, GitHub. Yeah, I probably missed those credits. Listen, son, I got you a goblin outfit. He kind of looks like Franco, honestly. But like the other Franco... So close. But I'll keep trying. I will find a cure. I will. I love you, son.
Okay. So I guess not too surprising that the second game is going to be about Venom. Congratulations! You have finished the main story, but the adventure continues. Oh, I just webbed all over myself. And now change the time of day in research stations or start a fresh adventure in Ultimate Difficulty or New Game Plus. Good luck, hero! Antioxu, yeah, so we unlocked Antioxu. New suit. Available. Do I have to buy the suit or do we just have it? Uh, looks like. Oh, it ended up over here. Wait, so what's this one, then? Is that... Naked? I think that's just his chest. Unaffordable. Everyone gets down in one hit, including you. Oh. Complete all... So I need to just do um all the crimes to unlock this one. And then I would have done everything base game related. Oxy's all right. The resupply is kind of neat if you want to use gadgets. The gadgets are strong, so being able to throw a bunch of those out probably is great. But yeah, all I really have to do is stop crimes. And it's nice I can change the time of day. Because I do like nighttime. But yeah, we'll, uh, Stop crimes. No, we'll move on to the uh, the DLC. I might try to finish off crimes, though. Strong arming civilians is not gonna fly in my town. Who even is it? Oh, it's you guys. Look, despite everything, Spider Man still Spider Man. He's stopping crime and taking names, and he's all out of names. Yeah, I'm working on that. I really can't wait because I'm working on it right now. That was cute. Oh, crime's not done yet. There was one more man. Why are there so many guys? Crime never rests. For Spider Cop. Giving Sable International a good review online. 